Active weather out there for your morning commute. I'm sure you've heard it if you live in Lexington or especially western counties. We've got lightning, we've got heavy rain at times, and even the possibility of some small hail. So the rain now coming in uh, down in Lexington, there you can see that lightning flashing. And the storms are pretty much uh, right on top of us. So running from Scott County up toward, the, if you're driving toward the Toyota plant, you're going to run into some heavy rain and also all the way down just west of I-75 around Nicholasville, some of our southern counties as well, Stanford, Crab Orchard. Not, this is not severe, but uh, you got to watch out for torrential rainfall. Again, frequent lightning and some small hail and obviously an impact for drivers. So this batch is racing east around about 60 miles per hour. So it's not wasting any time. It'll be out of here later on this morning. And they've got an expanded slight risk for severe storms, not for what's going on this morning, but for what's coming in later on this evening and into early tomorrow morning. So you notice that expansion into Lexington and Fayette County, and then that marginal risk got bumped into our southeastern counties. And then for Wednesday, there's a marginal risk southeast to include the storms that will track in that direction. So the future track gets rid of this morning batch in a hurry. Most of the late morning through the afternoon, there won't be much going on. And then later on this evening, we should have a round of storms firing up starting over Indiana. You have to watch out for some of these discrete cells. You could see some uh, tornadic activity there. Uh, but by overnight, that round will cut across the Ohio River. I think our biggest threat could be the possibility of some damaging wind gusts. Can't rule out isolated tornadoes, but the whole line should be weakening as it rolls in here. And this is around, well, the morning show tomorrow and then beyond. Uh, last of the showers exiting eastern Kentucky later in the morning. So by later in the day, winds are going to be kicking. Clouds will clear out. Could see a few rain to snow showers on the back edge of that, although it'll be uh, moisture will be decreasing fairly rapidly. We're also going to cool down, though. It's 61 in Lexington. We've got a wind straight out of the south, sustained around 15 miles per hour. Just had a 31 mile per hour wind gust in Richmond. And we have a wind advisory out for 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts the rest of the day overnight into Wednesday morning until we finally get that cold front through here. Our highs today, low 70s. We hit the low 70s yesterday, missed our record high by just a few degrees. Today, I believe the record high is uh, 74, if I remember correctly, so we'll be close. And that morning round of showers and thunder showers will track east and into the afternoon. It'll still be windy, mostly cloudy, but there won't be a whole lot going on until overnight. So tonight, uh, just stay weather aware as that round of storms drops in, especially if you're in our northwestern counties, uh, say back towards Shelbyville or uh, up around um, uh, Owenton. Uh, that's where some of the strong storms could be uh, located there. And then as that line drops south and east, it'll impact everybody, but should be weakening as it goes. So, yeah, uh, could have active weather to deal with throughout Wednesday morning. And then falling temperatures and gusty wind. The eight day shows that 60 degree high. That'll be early in the day. We'll bottom out in the mid 40s Thursday and then Friday into Saturday. Look how fast we warm things back up. 50 to 60 to 70, possibly over a three day span, 10 degree hops each day and then maxing out way above normal in the 70s with additional storm chances again early next week at the end of the eight-day forecast.